Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you're enjoying your Friday afternoon. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. This homestand ends. here for the Clippers as they get ready to hit the road. This game against Phoenix here, it's the first look at the Suns. Last year was a lopsided affair as they were able to take all four games in the series, earning the sweep. And they were unbeaten against this club last season. Not surprising considering where they both finished in the standings. Yeah, it's really plain as pound cake. They're the better team. I mean, they'll look to prove it again here tonight. Looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns. Zach Randolph is up. There is Shabazz Muhammad. Then there's Jimmy Butler. Then there's Noah. And it's Conley in at the point. And it's Green missing. And you look at Joe Kim Noah. I mean, one of those hybrid talents. As a center, he gives you the rebounding, the shot blocking you want. But then he also has tremendous passing skills and And the energy of a mountain. Good open look, and he splashes home the three. Butler in the corner. Intercepted. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Cousins. Russell's got five. And Clark, that's really deflating for a team to cough up the ball and have it turn into points immediately on the other end. You know, Greg, it feels like giving up two baskets, the one you didn't get, and then the one you allow the opponent to get. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. The first foul. And it's Kenneth Fareed with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. No, oh, nice play there to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. Just a whisker away from coming up with the steal there. Now, here's Butler. From deep. That doesn't go either for Butler. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And the dunk by Fareed. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. <laughs> guys, this one is threatening to get really ugly. Now here's Randolph. And the layup's good off the glass. And you're not going to pass up that kind of one. Russell kicks to Green. Offensive rebound. Here's Cousins. The drive by Russell. Fareed the pass to Bazemore. Russell dishes to Cousins. Back to Russell. Screen by Fareed. And Green gets it to go. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Now here's Conley. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. Butler can't get that one to fall. Green kicks to Russell. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Russell with it. Defended by Butler. The drive by Russell. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Yeah, they're scoring with confidence, Greg, making them count in the early going here. You couldn't have dreamed of a much better start here than they've had today. I think the offensive game plan they came in with was right on point. It's worked perfectly, and the lead they already have is proof in the pudding. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? 
you've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it. He, he made it look easy that time. Yes, fans, Clark, and the one team they view as floppers is the Clippers. <laughs> I don't like that word, but just kind of came out. Whether that is fair or not is up for debate, but it is certainly, I think, the perception. And I think there's some truth to that perception. I mean, multiple players have received fines for flopping on their roster. I mean, you can't run away from that, and the fans remember it, oh, too. Oh, they do. Yes, sir. Suns trail by eight. Conley kicks to butt. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way from 13. Rebound by the Suns. And for the Clippers and flopping, part of it might just be reputation. Whenever anyone hits the deck on their team, fans might be quick to kind of condemn that as a flop. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Russell's got seven. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose. The D hasn't been able to keep up. And stolen by Cousins. Green kicks to Cousins. Back to Green. Here's Bazemore. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Back to Russell. All alone. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. You know, the Clippers were the darlings of the NBA as they improved and made strides, but I think the flopping has kind of diminished that now, that love affair. Being labeled a group of floppers can certainly stifle your popularity. Kicks to green. Baseball for three. And the call will be against Joe King Noah. That's his first foul. Yeah, no doubt about that one with the over-the-back call. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to take him for a ride right there. Easy call. Fareed's checked in for the Clippers. Fast break. Here come the Suns. Foy with the ball. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that, Greg, just as soon as that ball was going the other way, that's um, exactly how you want to do it. And that one's good. And that's 12 points for D'Angelo Russell. This shooting has been outstanding. Here, <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And a huge lead here early to start. Well, you know, right from the tip, there's not anything they haven't done well so far. Rubio misses. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And um, they look strong here in the early going. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. At the line for two. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. Clippers leading by 13. Barbosa for three. No good. Good D by Rubio. And oh, here we go. Foy's got it. The fast break chance. Scola inside. And that one's good. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. We've got Pierce. Barbosa is up there with Jody Meeks. 
Then it's Jordan Hamilton. That's who's out there for the Clippers. The Clippers shooting their first free throw of the game. Rubio misses. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. Anderson passes to Laverne. Dishes it to Scola. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Pierce. Barbosa with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. That's good. Meeks got his first two points. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Scola, a screen on Barbosa. Foyd is just to Scola. Excellent D there from Pierce. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always important to have that good interior defense. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one they win. And the basket by Rubio. Los Angeles timeout call. And the Clippers decide to take their first timeout here. And Ricky Rubio, one of the youngest international. basketball stars ever we started hearing about him in the u.s back when he was 16 and, and even then powerful teams in europe were all vying for his services and going back to rubio clark his natural instincts in every phase of the game as, as greg was just talking about a really second to none in, in 06 he led spain to a championship registering Three triple doubles and one quadruple double. Wow. And despite those gaudy numbers, you just never know with an international star if, in fact, his game will translate to the NBA. Rubio's game obviously has. And Los Angeles with some changes. Los Angeles leading by 15. Russell kicks to Cousins. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles Three. will retain Angeles possession. Ball. Russell again, it's Rubio. Outside, Russell. The three. The shot, no good. And Phoenix the other way now. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Rubio again, it's Russell. Here's Anderson. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And for Kyle Anderson, he had so many traits, Greg, the Spurs were looking for when they drafted him back in 2014, but he spent pretty much the entire season on the pine. Yeah, and, and you know that Coach Pop makes his guys earn their minutes. You know, he doesn't care if he took you in the first round or if you, you're an undrafted free agent. He's going to play the guy who helps his team win. And the Suns making a change here. Harris has checked in. Thinking about DeMarcus Cousins, Clark, when he was selected, people questioned whether he could stay out of trouble. Many doubted that, uh, you know, he could, but but he has stayed clean, really, since day one. Yeah, you know, going back five years ago, a beat writer actually had the audacity to say he would end up in jail at some point, but Cousins has proved him and others wrong. Scola passes to Foy. And stolen by Cousins. Here's Bazemore. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen throughout. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into quick points. 
And that can't continue. I mean, if they hope to get back in this game, I mean, it's really deflating from a morale standpoint. They need stops and points, not turnovers. The Suns have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. And with that Cousins story about the writer, Cousins actually called him out about that failed prediction. I mean, they made amends, however, with the writer eating his words and donating to a charity of Cousins' choice. Charlie Villanueva is checked in for the Suns. Russell dishes to Fareed. Oh, that's blocked. And Voigt kicks to Anderson. And stolen by Cousins. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. So, for the Clippers, Pierce comes in for Kenneth Fareed. Robinson is subbed in for Kent Bazemore. And the Suns also making a change. Butler, he's checked in for Anderson. Suns trail by 13. Yeah, and for Cousins, it's never been a question of talent. I mean, many are glad to see that he's been able to stay focused really for the first stretch of his career. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, it's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. And the foul called on DeMarcus Cousins. That'll be his second foul of the That's game. The Boy, with two fouls now, he really has to be disciplined and under control for the rest of this half. Here's four. Jordan, he hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And he gets it to go. How about the inbound pass there? Easy bucket. Here's measuring. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. And the Clippers lead by 15. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. And guys, over the last two seasons, Devin Harris has been a backup point guard, but one could argue that he's outperformed the guys that are directly ahead of him. That's exactly right, Kevin. I mean, Harris came back to the team that he started his career with to be a support player, but injuries, trades, and generally poor fits elevated Harris's importance to the team. And the Suns making a change here. Joakim Noah is checked in for Laverne. Randolph comes in for Charlie Villanueva. Muhammad, he's checked in for Karan Butler. And it's Jimmy Butler coming in for Randy Ford. Clock at four. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Boom, he jams it straight down. I tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, well I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't, because otherwise we'd probably have a 45-minute delay here if he shattered the backboard. Randolph a screen. Off his foot. And it's being called a kickball. You know, getting back to Devin Harris, he can really help you. But you want to do one thing, limit his minutes. 11 full seasons under his belt, slender in build. It's best to play him around half the game if you can. Michael Conley, he's checked in for Harris. And Noah with the slam. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. From deep. No good from Hamilton. You know, talking about the veteran Harris, his quickness was still apparent last season, and his skill set was a good fit for Coach Carlisle's flow offense. I mean, this guy's been around a long time, and there are very few that are quicker than him with the ball. It's Meeks outside, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. 59 seconds left here in the second. It's deflected. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. The 10-footer to the paint. Here's Robinson, and that one's good. And the Clippers lead 
by 15. Almost uncontested. I mean, it's nice to be able to add to the lead without having to really work for it. Nice shot by Hamilton. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball movement out there. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come off assists. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. And it's Conley penetrating. Robinson with it. Takes the three. And the basket good. Robinson's got five points now in the quarter. And the big lead becomes bigger. They are playing with purpose here tonight, guys. And they're doing... And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. The Clippers on top, running away with it. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. You look at D'Angelo Russell, what a contribution. He was just like a jitterbug out there. I mean, disrupting passes, getting his hands on a lot of balls, forcing turnovers and steals, just a solid job all the way around. Like to watch him play like that makes the game so much more interesting. Yeah, it looked a little bit like Greg Anthony in the day. A jitterbug or maybe a net with the kind of nuisance he's been as far as defending. Uh, excellent work at that end of the floor for him. And, and Kevin Clark's the only guy I know that can call you a net and mean it as a compliment. And make you feel good yeah, about it. Yeah, I, yeah. I appreciate that, yeah. Clark. It's good, Clark. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. You look at D'Angelo Russell, what a contribution. Yeah, you know, one of the things about the truly greats of our game is that sometimes you get spoiled because of how consistent they can be. And so far, another big scoring night for him. And oftentimes when he puts up that many points in the first half, he follows it up with an even better second half. We'll see if that's the case here. And Phoenix, looking who they've got on the floor. They've got Jimmy Butler. Noah is up there with Zach Randolph. And it's Conley, and it's Muhammad in the three spot. Too much casual effort here. Lack of days go getting back on defense here, fellas. And it's costed them. Fast break baskets accounting for seven of the last ten points they've allowed. The kick outside to Butler. Over in the corner, Conley. From about 19 feet. And stolen by Cousins. Here's Russell, 17 points in the game. Outside, Green, pass to Russell, just five to shoot. Inside, Cousins, gets hauled in by Noah. But Marcus Cousins can really be unstoppable at times on offense. He's shown star qualities ever since he stepped into the NBA. But it wasn't until last season that he was voted to the All-Star game. Los Angeles calls timeout. And back to Cousins last year. He was the first Sacramento King to appear in an All-Star game, which is hard to believe in over a decade. That is wow. a long stretch, a long drought. Yeah, I'll tell you what, no question he's been doing a lot of heavy lifting here early in his career. But I tell you what, you surround him with some sick talent. You can see rings in this young man's future. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Paul Pierce is checked in for free. And it seems every season we see a player try and play through an injury. Sometimes it provides a boost with heroics, but it can lead to serious damage long term. It's a common practice we see, and some guys are pretty cavalier about it. Now, Greg, a lot of NBA players do play through injury. Last year, for instance, LaMarcus Aldridge played 
most of the regular season with a thumb injury that required surgery. Mike Conley, Clark Kellogg we saw in the postseason play with the mask with the, with a facial fracture. Yeah, and it's hard to make a blanket statement if it's good or bad for guys to do that. You just hope the player heeds the doctor's advice and doesn't do any further damage by playing it. Noah with the block. Butler kicks to Conley. He feeds it to Randolph. Zach Randolph. That's in there. Conley assist with the assist. Michael Conley. Conley's got three assists now in this one. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Screen by Cousins. Russell again. It's Conley. Russell passes to Cousins. Rebound by the Suns. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. There's the feed to Butler. Back to Conley. Good ball movement here by the Suns. And here they come. Here's Russell. Finished off the break. Russell's got seven points here in this quarter. Excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition, to attack when it's there, because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. For Phoenix, they have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. And no good on the technical, so unable to pick that one up. And, guys, one thing you sometimes gets lost. I mean, Mike Conley is a proven winner. Remember, you go back in high school, won three state titles. And the one season at Ohio State led them to the national title game. So that, that aspect of what he brings, the intangibles, you're going to be a winner if Mike Conley's on your roster. Muhammad with the steal. Poked loose. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Suns trail by 18. Conley with it. Barbosa picks him up. Conley dishes to Muhammad. Butler kicks to Conley. Over to the wing. Here's Muhammad. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Four, three. Six points for Shabazz Muhammad. They're doing their best to erase the deficit here with some smart passes and some good shooting. I mean, those two things go hand in hand. If you're going to make shots, then the passes have to be on target and on time. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Tit for tat right there, huh, guys? Didn't take them long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got seven points. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook, really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. Mesri, covered by Noah. Here's Mesri. And there's the pass to Barbosa. Pass to Robinson. From downtown. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Randolph's got three rebounds now in this one. Conley up top. He's guarded by Meeks. Noah, the pass to Muhammad. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Robinson leading the charge. How's that for a quick possession? Yeah, no hesitation at all taking that one to the basket. Beautifully done. Butler gets to Conley. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And that's now nine points for Mike Conley. Muhammad with the steal. Down low. Stolen away. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. DeMarcus Cousins is checking for the Clippers. Fareed comes in for Hamilton. 
30 seconds left in the third. And an intentional foul right there. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Clippers leading by 13. Now Barbosa. He kicks it to Meeks. There's the dish to Robinson. For three, Barbosa. That's good. Barbosa's got six. And as we end the third. I'll get back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but you never know. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. And the Clippers looking at who they've got. Kent Bazemore is out there with Kenneth Fareed. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. Then it's Green. And it's Russell in a th the point guard position. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. And guys, something every team strives for is getting points off of turnovers. And they've done that here in both halves. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. Suns trail by 17. Laverne down low. Cousins is there. Rubio dishes to Foy. To the middle. Here's Laverne. Banked in off the glass. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. They grabbed their own miss. Cousins. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And it's Rubio penetrating. And stolen by Cousins. Out in his own on the break. And the slam dunk by Bazemore. Oh, quick hands <laughs> on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. Here's Scola. Rebound by DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins has got rebound number five here tonight. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. And it's Foy missing. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Outside, Russell. Wing shot on the way. And it's Randy Foy with the rebound. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. From deep three-point range, rebound by DeMarcus Cousins. Clippers leading by 20. The drive by Russell. Again, Russell missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Takes it from 10. Kicks it out to Rubio. It's good from long range. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. And for Luis Scola, 
a very different role for him over the last two years. I mean, he was a starter for most of his career, then signed with Indiana, who had David West at the four. Off the bench, though, Scola still played efficiently, but he was just used to putting up much bigger numbers for other teams. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. Here's Mejri. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Clippers lead by 19. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Greg, you were talking about Scola. He has the physical skills, Clark, to make a difference. Yeah, he really does. I mean, he's not spectacular in anything, but he's really solid in just about everything. A pro's pro, and he adds value, tremendous value to any team he's on. Rubio, the pass to Foy. Misses in close. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Can't hit. Some solid defense from Robinson. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailing. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. Phoenix ball. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Phoenix has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And the basket by Rubio. And the Clippers call time here. Mickey Rubio Clark, one of the most highly anticipated international players in recent memory to come into the NBA. Yeah, he's got an awful lot of flash and substance to his game, and after much haggling and negotiating, he was finally allowed to join the Minnesota Timberwolves in 2011. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And that's an intentional foul. Well, there were a few complaints last season about how the playoff seeding was done, most notably in the Western Conference. Portland was the fourth seed for winning their division, but without that division win, would have been the sixth seed. Los Angeles calls timeout. Into the playoffs last year, with Portland being a division winner, but getting that fourth seed, that played a huge role in this conversation about playoff seating structure. San Antonio would end up playing the Clippers in the first round, even though both had better records than the Blazers. Kevin, no doubt it's a tricky situation. Listen, you want to reward teams for winning their division, but, but every so often it comes at the expense of several other teams like it did last year who just play in stronger divisions. So I, I think that's something that the, the league is going to have to look at moving forward. Yes, sir. And that one's good by Noah. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Russell again. It's Conley. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Green. To the middle. Here's Fareed. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Here is Conley. 13 feet away. Gets the front of the rim and out. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Really just continuing to increase the lead. This one should be easy for the rest of the way. Yeah, and you know, Greg, at this late stage, a lead like that it has a team really feeling quite good about itself, and deservedly so. You always want a player to have his head up and to be surveying the court, but not if that's going to be the result. Here's Cousins. Noah with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Noah. High 
On defense, Phoenix. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Los Angeles. I agree, Steve. And this is a game where the defense, you know, Clark Steele specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created extra possessions for him, too, Kevin. Scoring opportunities they cashed in on. And that effort, a big part of what will be a nice victory tonight. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Yeah, and Greg, when it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Russell. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. And he knocks down the first one. And so Russell hits them both. Forty-three seconds Jordan left Hammond. in the fourth quarter of this one. And it's Randolph with the rebound. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Conley kicks to Randolph. Meeks with the steal. And man, that's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. He hits the second from the line. For the Phoenix Suns, they come into this one following a loss to Minnesota. Butler dishes to Muhammad. Low block shot. And he gets it to go. There's 10 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. The drive by Russell. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. Puts it up off the inbound. Connects. The jumper drops. Well, they're going to walk out of here with a win and send this crowd home happy. Yeah, you know, it was a real solid performance for them in a lot of areas. I mean, they should be proud of their work tonight. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily.